there to get things started. Buckner down low, Lawrence. Working on Iadell, back to the outside, it's Hammond. And there's her first bucket of the game. Puts a quick three on the board for them. King, good pass down low, looking for battle. Iadell there on the glass and she gets the bank to go. 10 on the shot clock. Outside, three ball from Blackstone rolls in. Open player, and I think Pitt needs to kind of do the same on offense on their end. Lawrence driving, trying to go down low with Blackstone. Can't find her, though, and Pitt goes the other way with numbers. Malcolm in transition. Nice. Layup is good. Perkins quickly the other way now. She goes baseline outside to Malcolm, who gives to battle the three. Yes. And there's nearly 17 points per game there down in New Jersey. Three here. That one goes from Staples. The lineup out on the floor for Pitt now with Perkins out there because obviously you have three guards and two forwards, but with Bella Perkins, how she is on the glass, you have basically you gain another forward. Perkins trying to change that. Nice pass down low to Washington. It's reverse layup goes. Really nice looking play there from the Panthers. Cuts it to three. And Pitt's 0 for 2 to start the second quarter. Lawrence. Nice little half jumper there from inside the paint. And then plays her high school ball in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Talk about a transition there. Reverse layup. Nice job again from Lawrence down low. She's got eight. Like you mentioned there, getting these open looks but just not converting early on. Yeah, obviously shooting 30, 28% from the field isn't ideal for this pit squad when you have to, If she gets the opportunity, it's going to go in the net. Lawrence with three double-doubles this season, one of just 17 active D1 players to accomplish the feat. Leading the team in rebounding and points per game, and with her on the bench, you could see a little bit um, of some struggles that Pitt's seen. As Corner Pitt three. Another three. Wow. Hammond now four for five from beyond the arc. She's got 12, and Coppin State extends their lead. Hammond. Perkins needs an answer. She's got it. Nice answer there by Bella Perkins. Another CCBCS <laughs> transfer on the squad. Hammond playing her first two seasons at Sacred Heart. Just didn't get consistent playing time there. And she banks the three. Here's Ayada. Jordan still playing there at the point. Nice dish down low to Ayada. Really nice job there by Jayla Jordan looking down low. Could have maybe kept the possession on their end for the remainder of the quarter, but now Pitt's going to have the chance to score before the half. Malcolm driving through contact, gets the layup to go. Battle to King. Nice move to get free down low, and King's got her first two. And that's what we need to see. This Pitt team's been strong underneath the boards as we see Leah to King take it strong and grab the and one. It's been the rebounding, has been the forward play. And you like to see there, Iadell being strong underneath the basket. Obviously, that's not necessarily the matchup you want on the switch, but making sure that Coppensate isn't getting that wide open three. Corner three, Malcolm, got it. He's only played 15 minutes. Long two there, misses from Jenkins. As Malcolm comes down with the rebound and Pitt goes the other way down eight. Inside, King, really nice passing there from the Panthers. Seven on the shot clock now. Blackstone driving on King. That one goes, and she gets the blocking foul to boot. And right when you thought Coppin State lost a lot of that momentum, their lead is back up to nine. King through contact and gets the bucket to go. Yeah, the pitch bench. Pitt bench loves that. Has her girl one-on-one, -on -one, not afraid of Layla Lawrence, and taking it up. And getting Blackstone driving. Nice pass down low. Lawrence can't get that one to go, though. And back out to the Panthers with two and one on the shot clock. Malcolm needs to get a shot up. She does, and it goes! Aislinn Malcolm at the buzzer in the third quarter. Yeah, Pitt came out in that th third quarter exactly how they needed to to stay in this game. King trying to get the quick bucket coming out, and Hutcherson comes in and gets the land to go. They passed up on for the next best opportunity, and you had a hot hands like Hammond get the ball with a wide open three and just couldn't finish. Offensive rebound, King to the basket! Coppin State looking for an answer. Blackstone off to Buckner, driving off the glass and in a big bucket there for the Eagles. Yeah, unfortunate there. Perkins got mixed up there in the switch, fell to the ground, leaving a wide open lane for Buckner. 
King to Malcolm. Ayadell on the outside. Perkins, long jumper, yes! Bella Perkins up to seven. She needed one to go down and she sees one there. There you could see the hand fully extending, but ref letting them play it out here. Gray gets that one taken away from her. The other way now goes King with numbers. Perkins on her right. King takes it to the rack herself, and we got a one-point ball game. This could all but do it here if Staples makes the front end. She does. As Mozzie Staples drills the second as well. They shot a great 60% and then also from the three but then stuck to their game plan in the second half, right? Didn't try to do too much, stuck to their defensive game plan, worked the ball in, 